Steve Clem Grogan, born on July 13, 1951 in Los Angeles, California, is an American convicted murderer and former member of the Manson family. He was released on parole from prison in 1985. He is the only person who has been released from prison after being convicted of murder in the killings committed by the family. Grogan, a musician and artist, dropped out of high school and was involved in minor crimes. When his frustrated parents lost hope, they decided to drop him off at Spawn Ranch. He was immediately taken in by the ranch hands and began to do odd jobs around the ranch. Ranch hand Donald Shea took a liking to Grogan, often buying him clothes. Grogan was a resident long before Charles Manson and family became associated with Spawn Ranch. Like Charles Manson, he was friends with Dennis Wilson of the Beach Boys. He was often considered dumb or even retarded by other family members, earning him the nickname Scumblehead, but some felt he was only playing dumb. Allegedly, it was Grogan who wrecked Wilson's uninsured Ferrari. In 1969, he was sentenced to 90 days observation at Camarilla State Mental Hospital for exposing his penis to a group of school children, but he returned to the ranch after two days. On the night of August 10, 1969, he rode with members of the Manson family. Tex Watson, Patricia Kremwinkel, and Leslie Van Houten was dropped off at the house of Leno and Rosemary Labianca, but Grogan, Manson, Susan Atkins, and Linda Kasabian continued to Venice Beach, where Manson sent Grogan, Atkins, and Kasabian to kill actor Saladin Nader, but Kasabian led them to the wrong apartment and the plan was aborted. Grogan later helped Manson, Watson and Bruce Sam Davis kill Span Ranch hand Donald Shea. The jury returned verdicts of life imprisonment for Manson and Davis, but death for Grogan. However, on December 23, 1971, Judge James Cole stated that Grogan was too stupid and too hopped on drugs to decide anything on his own, and that it was really Manson who decided who lived or died and reduced Grogan's sentence to life imprisonment. Grogan later assisted the authorities and drew a map to where Shea's body was buried. In prison, he was head of the prisoner's program to deter juveniles from a life of crime and kept away from fellow inmate Manson. Grogan was released on parole from prison in 1985. On January 5, 1971, fellow Manson family member Catherine Gypsy Sher gave birth to a son while in jail awaiting trial. She later revealed that Grogan was the father. As of 2020, Grogan is the only person who has been released from prison after being convicted of murder in the killings committed by the Manson family.